to account for hundreds of businesses and thousands of residents in the Kaka'ako area. That's right. You will be without power beginning tonight. Our Jai Cunningham joins us from Kaka'ako and has more on the scope of work being done by Hawaiian Electric. Morning, Jai. Good morning, Good morning, Christine. Yeah, the work will start tonight. As you guys were saying, that overnight work will be happening from 10 in the evening till 6. We're in Kaka'ako, but it's not just Kaka'ako. We're also talking about Ibile as well as the Ala Moana area. Shannon Tangonan, she is with Hawaiian Electric. Shannon, if you don't mind, the, the work that's being done, I, I do say those three areas, but you're saying not every night is going to affect each area, correct? No. We, we're going to start in Ibile, work our way to Kaka'ako and Ala Moana, and then in each area, we're going to be working. Some people will experience, um, you know, multiple outages, some only one outage. It just depends. And what we've done is we've notified all the people affected, you know, the 400 home, I mean, 400 businesses, 2,500 residential customers. We've all notified um, building managers, property managers, associations. So they, in turn, have been letting them know exactly what night of you know, it would affect them. Okay. That work is going to be going on over the next three weeks, and part of the work is actually, this is the equipment. What do we have here, and what's going to be done with, the mach uh, I guess, uh, these uh, things uh, in, in those areas? These are splices. So the splices are down in the man um, manholes. So in each manhole, we have about three or six, and these connect the cables. So these are, these have been causing some outages over the last year or so. So rather than wait till they fail, we're replacing about 400 of them in the various areas, in about 70 manholes, sorry. Okay, about 70 manholes, and as she was saying, Shannon was saying about 400 of these pieces of equipment, uh, they're gonna be changed out. It's gonna be happening over the next three weeks. We'll, of course, keep you updated. Hawaiian Electric hoping that they can get uh, those uh, uh, different trucks off uh, the, the roads by five in the morning, by five in the morning. So we'll keep you updated on air at KHON2. We'll keep you updated online as well at KHON2.com. All right, let's head back into Wake Up Today's studio.